and here you want to be able to use sample loops and MIDI clips that are harmonically compatible. That's the fancy way of saying it sounds nice together. So it either should be in the same key or in a compatible key. Now the thing is, this is a, there's a lot of music theory that goes into this. What we are showing you is a shortcut. But if you learn the music theory that goes into this, it's very interesting. Uh, for today, we are going by the shortcut called the Camelot Wheel. Some context for the Camelot Wheel is actually used by DJs to play songs that are in the same keys. Uh, so like the markings of Camelot Wheel correspond to certain keys, and they use it as a reference so they can transition from song to another, but you still keep it kind of harmonically consistent, and we are basically applying the same concepts to the class here today. Yeah, and if you look at a set of songs, for example, that say Irung is going to be playing when his next DJ set, you'll find that he probably has tagged all the songs or renamed the file names with these letters like 11B, 12B, 11A, 12A. This is not your SAF uh, identity card. This is your, it's a code. It's a short form for telling you what is compatible with what. The real name of 11B is A major. The real name of 8A is A minor. But the reason why we have these code numbers is that there is a shortcut to them which makes it easier than trying to memorize A minor goes with which one? Ah? A major goes with which one? Ah? Yeah. So if you knew music theory, you'd be studying it, then you would, oh, A minor, of course, A minor goes with E minor. Everybody else goes, huh? what? Instead, if you look at just the wheel itself, Let's look at 8A, which is A minor. I like A minor because it's a commonly used key. Um, and A, A samples will always go with 8A samples. So let's not talk so much. Let's actually hear the thing. I'm going to turn down the volume of this drum track so that it doesn't distract so much. So I'm in the folder of Chop and Swing called MIDI Clips and I'm going to go to the tonal ones, meaning there are tones, there are musical tones. The nice thing about MIDI clips that come from Ableton Live is that they have the instrument connected to them. If you download MIDI clips from other commercial packs, they'll just give you the notes without any instrument, then you have to find your own instrument. So here, let's go and choose one of the accompaniments that is already in A minor. Minor keys are a bit sadder, major keys are a bit happier. So sadder sometimes is more edgy, can be more cool sounding, can be more lo-fi. So I'm just going to use this A minor. I'm going to drag it into a MIDI track. And not only has it loaded in notes, it has also loaded in uh, instrument called the biphase sector wherever that is so let's play it I've got an A minor accompaniment let's try adding in an A minor melody A minor let's scroll down A minor A minor A minor A minor Anybody see an A minor? Here we go. So I'll drag it, I'll drag it into an empty part here because I don't have any more MIDI tracks. The other two are audio tracks. I'm dragging it to the empty space there because it will Ableton Live will automatically give me a alama, I drag in the B minor by mistake. Delete. Drag in the A minor, please. It works, it's in the same key. Then, if we look at the Camelot wheel, whatever is 8A, that means one up and one down also will match. So if I find 7A or 9A, it should also match. 7A is what key? 7A is D minor. This is all on the wheel. Huh? D minor. So let me find a D minor. D minor. Little amp electric D minor. Okay. I'm dragging it into a new 
space again it's automatically creating a, for me okay let me stop this and click on the square so that number five the hyper d a minor doesn't play so i just play this one So even though it's D minor and it's not A minor, okay, it can still match. And let me try 9A. 9A is E minor. E minor, here's one, evening casual, E minor. Evening casual. Again, I drag it onto a new. Yeah, it actually works together because track 7 is E minor, which is 9A, and track 2 is A minor, which is 8A, and 8A is next to 9A. Okay, it works. What can 8A work with as well? 8B. Okay, what's 8B? C major. Then you look, do I have anything C major? Aha, here we go. C major, OB, brass, C major. I'm dragging it out here. So I'm going to stop this one. I'm going to play here. So I got track 8 is in 8B. Track 2 is in 8A. Let's hear them together. So this way, you can actually put together different... Um, things which will match the so here's the thing huh? this one track 2 let me rename it so I remember this is in 8A the key of 8A track 5 please mute please mute yours this is also in 8A this one what key was it in D minor D minor is what D minor is What's the Camelot key for D minor? 7A. 7A, okay. So this one is 7A. The numbers at the end, BPM, yeah. is the beats per minute, how fast they are. But what happens is that when you drag in into this uh, uh, track that you have here, the main tempo is already set at uh, 90 BPM. So it will bring it into the, make it into 90 BPM instead of instead of the original BPM. Right. You've got 8A and 8B working together. See, 8A and 8B working together. Let's hear them. But, can 8B work together with 9A? Even though both of them work with, even though 9A works with 8A, 8B works with 8A, can 8B work with 9A? The answer is... A bit dodgy. A bit dodgy. Okay? If you, a bit, a bit... Like, can it work with 7A? dodgy also not preferable so 7a with 8a can 9a with 8a can 8b with 8a can but among themselves hmm doesn't really work so interesting huh? okay now does this work if i bring in say for example let's see the others is there something in the hyper d's that is or evening casual b flat Oh, B flat, okay. So I'm bringing in this new one, right? You can see this new in the track seven. Now B flat is what's the Camelot number for B flat? Six B. Six B. Hold six B. Six B A A. Let's try. Awful, right? 
Uh, you'd have to be really experimental to do this. Yeah. How do I solve this? I want it. I want. The, I like the riff. You know. How do I solve this? Transpose it. Yes. And transpose it by double clicking it. I open up the clip view. Ooh, and I can stretch it out because when I move my mouse to the border line, it stretches out. And here are all the notes. Okay. To select all of them, I to select all of them. I use Control A. Now they're all selected. So now I'm going to move them from B flat to A. The question is how many steps and in which direction? One step down. Okay, one step down. I use my arrow up and now arrow to move one step down. Okay, so now I should be in A minor instead of B flat. Let's hear it. Better? Yeah. Better than just now, right? Which was a train wreck. So now the train is moving smoothly. How did I know how many steps to move other than asking you intelligent people? What's the shortcut? There's a graphic here. There's a graphic here below, right? Which shows how do you know how many steps to move? Use this for reference. It shows the keyboard. That's right. So if I see on the right hand, and I've got two sets of the keyboard because sometimes it's sharp, sometimes it's flat. And if you look at this, you realize that actually A sharp is also known as B flat. It's a trick. Right? It's one of those music theory scams to basically, you know, you to trick you, trick you into taking music lessons. Right? It's a scam. <laughs> A sharp and B flat. They don't want you to know the truth. But now you know the truth. You've got to let people know before they take this down. Yeah, so... Okay, it's not a conspiracy. Uh, hey man, I just had a long air flight yesterday. So, you know. So B flat... One step down to A. Yay, we got it. Okay. So the same thing, I got other things in this casual, e, evening fun casual, or maybe OB, 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 there's something in oh, C sharp minor. Look at that. C sharp minor. This has got to be a train wreck. Let's hear it. Wow, isn't it awful? Okay, <laughs> why is he so happy, right? So again, I double click on the clip. It opens up the notes here. I know that I'm in the correct clip because it's the same color of the notes. It's pink and my clip is pink. So again, I'm used to control A to select all the notes. Now from C sharp to A minor, hmm, where do I go? Again, I refer to this. This time I look at the left hand side graphic. C sharp to A. I could go up one, two, three, four, five, six, don't know how many steps. Or I could move down, wrap around. C sharp to C, C to B, B to A sharp. Three steps down. One, two, three. Okay, let's hear what it sounds like. <laughs> You are right. I should have gone four steps, not three steps. Four steps. Ah! See, don't worry. Happens to me also, right? Control A. One more step down. Okay, let's. Here's A minor. A minor. Okay. Now we go. So 
So now you have it, you have the way to unlock these MIDI clips. Go ahead and try.